Hi folks, welcome to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. I'd like to first of all start the uh, program out tonight uh, wishing all of the uh, fathers happy Father's Day coming up. And if you are a father and you are being a father to the child you brought into this world, I hope that you are uh, being a father because, uh, you know, celebrating Father's Day, even though all the fathers are included, we like to think that uh, you kind of earn that title a little bit. And, and being a father, uh, you have to nurture your child, teach them responsibility, teach them right from wrong. And if you teach your child to be responsible, whether they grow up or not and smoking cannabis is not going to affect their ability to be responsible. A lot of people want to claim that uh, people who smoke marijuana are not very responsible people, but nothing could be further from the truth. So the idea about parenting is to teach your kids to be responsible. And if they decide to sample or or try stuff later on, more than likely they're probably gonna maintain that same level of responsibility. I'd also like to uh, take this time to wish a happy Father's Day to our founding fathers uh, that set up our country. Uh, these fathers, they, they all uh, were very aware of the Constitution that they were bringing this new country into and under. And they knew the importance of freedom of choice and the right to choose. They knew the, the, the fact that this country uh, that the important thing about this country is that we did not have a huge government, that the people were the ones that were in charge and the people were the ones that gave the powers to the government. And they, they talked many, many times about how government had to be limited because they, they knew, the, they could see the writing on the wall. They knew what was coming if the governments were allowed to grow into what they've become today. And that's our problem here in the United States of America, particularly with the cannabis movement and the war on drugs in general is that we have a government that is completely out of control. They have completely ballooned into this almost communist state, definitely a police state, and it, it's wrong. And it totally shreds every idea of the Constitution that our founding fathers set up for us. Uh, wouldn't it be nice, a nice gift to the founding fathers if the citizens of America would wake up and realize what this government is doing to our Constitution, what it's doing to our freedoms here in America, and what, what, an, what big deal we make out of war on drugs and, and people smoking marijuana and all that. Why do, why do we go to these extremes? All, all we do is create more and more and more problems. We never solve anything. If we, if we didn't care what people did, and they did it in the privacy of their own homes, and they weren't bothering anybody while they were doing it, we wouldn't have the level of problems and crime and poverty that we're seeing in this country. And I think it's our responsibility, whether we're just fathers, or whether we're congressmen, or whether we're senators, or whether we're people in important places in high government, it's our responsibility, just like it is when you're nurturing your child and teaching them to be responsible. It's also important that you maintain a level of responsibility. And when you look at the fact that our Constitution is being trampled, our freedoms of choice are being trampled by these controlled substance laws and these war on drugs that the Drug Enforcement Agency is just so hell-bent to run. When you look at the fact that we're being irresponsible by having these types of legislation in place, what's the deal? Why can't we get this country to wake up and for people to take on a responsible tone? We want the pot smokers out there of America are responsible people. They they really want to extend a helping hand to these this hard line of people, this this ignorant, if you will, the that don't seem to understand that the fact that it is it comes down to a matter of freedom of choice. And if people were allowed to exercise this constitutional right that was given to them when this country was set up, we wouldn't be having these problems that we have. There would be no street gangs. We wouldn't have a substance illegal for them to be able to operate on and make money to continue their operations. Just like when alcohol was taken away from the Capone gangs and all that, they lost a lot of their revenues. And money is really the heart of it. If you, if you keep making a substance illegal like cannabis or the other drugs that the war on drugs is chasing after, you're going to make, continue making the cartels richer and richer. And this is irresponsible. This, we would never do this on any other thing in this country to this level of irresponsibility. And it's time that the people stand up and say, hey, wait a minute, government, you're going overboard. We give you the power. You don't tell us what to do. We tell you what to do. It's time for the people to start exercising these rights. This is what our founding fathers set up for us. 
They didn't, they didn't want to tell somebody they couldn't use cannabis or grow hemp. My God, hemp production in the colonies was one of the things that got America off to the right start and continued so up until it was made illegal with the Marijuana Tax Act in 1937. It was so important that during World War II, we brought it back. We brought back the Hemp for Victory campaign. And because the Japanese had seized the hemp in the Philippines, we weren't able to, you know, to use the products that were made from hemp. So we had to bring all that back in. And it was a successful deal. The government actually, when the, war, the campaign for victory started, the Hemp for Victory, the government actually, it was a successful move. And there was, there was over four or 500,000 acres of hemp grown and produced. This, this is something that could be done again, except this time it's in peacetime. Well, it's not in peacetime because we have two unconstitutional wars going on, but at least in this country, we don't have a war going on in the soil of America, except for the war on drugs. And that in itself is irresponsible. Why do we continue to allow this government, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the Department of Justice, the Controlled Substance Act, Singles Narcotics Act, Singles Narcotics Treaty, why do we allow these bits and pieces of nightmares that have slowly come into society by basically a bunch of ignorant and greedy men are the ones that got these passed? Why are we continuing to allow this level of irresponsibility to continue? It's beyond me. You wouldn't, while you were raising your child, teaching them to be responsible. By the time they got eight or 10 years old, you wouldn't just give up on them and quit, would you? Of course not because it takes the entire time until you get them out on their own to educate them properly and to, and to teach them right from wrong and to be responsible. And for some reason, it's okay that our government acts this way. And I tell you, it's not okay. So we, we as a people, we need to go ahead, we need to exercise our rights. We need to show the American people that people who use cannabis, people who even want to use other drugs and stuff, these people are not irresponsible people. It's not like that they just, you know, go jump off the edge of a cliff or go knock somebody in the head. This is the kind of stuff that it just doesn't happen. And most of the stuff that they believe and most of the stuff that they base what they believe on has all been a bunch of propaganda and a bunch of lies. So let's, this Father's Day, let's, let's continue our great work with our children. But let's also work on our, you know, the fathers, the ones who are in charge. And and tell them that level of responsibility doesn't just include, you know, the day to day with the children. I mean, if you're a good father and you've been nurturing your father, you don't really need a Father's Day because your children have brought you way more joy than just the one day of, of recognizing you. But be responsible. And in that res being responsible, we also must make sure that our government's being responsible. And the War on Drugs, Controlled Substance Act, and locking people up because they want to use a safe herb that has never killed anybody never sent anyone to the hospital. This is irresponsible and it's something we have to change. Thank you for joining the Cannabis Corner.